okay so hello so today I'll I'll teach you or share with you how to install volatility tree on your Ubuntu machine so it could be either on top of your existing volatility tool setup or without it so it doesn't matter so, so this is just very quick and very easy uh, I'll show you the commands actually I've run it already so you don't have to wait I'll just show you on the screen the output the first step is to install uh, install uh, pip uh, python and pip for python 3 so here's the command uh, as you know 2. python 2.7 is already deprecated and although it's being used by the older volatility 2 uh, still pretty much useful but this new volatility t3 uh, now uses the new version of Python so if I'm not mistaken 3.6 or later uh, when you run this it will actu actually install the latest Python which is 3.10 okay when you run it just enter of course you have to run is a sudo if not it will ask for your root password and uh, just wait for it to complete actually it's now completed in in my virtual machine and then Step two is to actually install the volatility, volatility tree, volatility tree, tree uh, to your machine using this command. Okay. As you can notice, it now uses Python tree, and it will also install the required dependencies like the Yara, this form tree, uh, PyCrypto, so forth and so on. Because without without this, uh, your volatility tree instance will not run properly. Again, wait for it to complete, and you will notice here it will download the required uh, required dependencies and packages. Okay, and once it's done, you're ready now to analyze memory images using volatility tree. So to call volatility. Okay, let me just show you again. Notice here, uh, to call volatility tree, you have to execute vol, just vol. And notice here, it shows you volatility tree, volatility tree framework and the version. Uh, if you need to to show you more help, help syntax, uh, append a space dash dash help. And these are all the commands you can run with the new volatility tree okay notice here it as mentioned before it will no longer need the profile scanning so i have a example here below uh, i have a sample memory image in the downloads folder so to to test if your volatility tree setup is working so Run it with vol space dash f and then the memory image and then notice here we no longer need to specify the profile for this memory image then just go directly with with the command we are to run in this case we run the info windows info and if if all goes goes well you will have your result matter of seconds depending on of course, depending on the specs of your virtual machine or your uh, bare metal analysis machine, if you're not using virtual machine, okay? So, as mentioned before, congrats, you already have your volatility tree set up working. And if you have installed it on top of your volatility tool, uh, if you have uh, watched or read my previous article, if you have set up volatility you can also call volatility2 using bold.py then dash info notice here it called the older version right so it's called the volatility2 instead of volatility3 so I could run volatility2 and volatility3 anytime using just the respective syntax on top of one on top of another so here to call volatility 3 okay all right 
So, of course, uh, to be to be familiarized, uh, I would strongly recommend you when you analyze analyze a memory image, use both in analyzing a machine, uh, just to 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 have a feel or a handle on how they work how they work and of course it will it will add it will exercise your memory image analysis as well okay so that's it till next